These days, the news is full of heavy information, so we thought we'd take a break from that and share a bunch of light, fun facts in a segment called Did You Know? So Tarek and I will go back and forth saying fun little facts that we think you might not know. Are you ready, Tarek? Yep. Okay, so I'll go first. Did you know that polar bear's fur isn't white? It's see-through and reflects the light, making it seem white. Huh, how cool. Yeah, are they a predator or an optical illusion? They're both. <laughs> Did you know that bats are the only mammal that can fly? <gasps> if you don't count Superman. <laughs> hey, Tarek. Did you know that the most violent incident in the civil rights era is something most of us have never heard of? On the campus of South Carolina State University in 1968, state troopers shot 28 student protesters and there was no formal investigation. Did you know that? No, um, I didn't. Uh, did you know that Canada is actually south of Detroit? Whoa, <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at a map. Yeah. Tarek, did you know that one quarter of the first 33 black men elected to Georgia's legislature were threatened, beaten, or killed by white protesters? No. Um, did you know that the first footprints on the moon will be there for a million years? Cool! <laughs> did you know that there's a long and rich history of black journalism in this country, but there are about 25 black-owned papers from the late 18 and early 1900s that have no remaining copies? And did you know that the reason for that is usually because the newspaper offices were destroyed by angry white mobs? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know that? Um, these are supposed to be fun facts, right? Yeah! Because <laughs> it seems like mine are fun, but yours are truly terrifying. Really? I didn't notice that. How about this? Did you know that more people visit France than any other country in the world? I didn't. It must be because Paris is the city of love. What I don't love, though, is the fact that Wilberforce College, the first university owned and operated by African Americans, has been burned to the ground by racial terrorists twice. Roger Williams University in Tennessee was also burned down two times before it finally closed. And it's not just colleges. In 1910, white rioters burned down every black school in New Orleans. And the city didn't have a black school for 17 years. That is not fun. But it is a fact. Okay, uh, but I thought this was gonna be like a fun, lighthearted segment. Derek, as black people living in America, we don't have the luxury of being lighthearted. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a fact. This has been Did You Know?